If you're in a healthy relationship with a man, can you stitch this video and talk about it? Let me give the girl some hope and tell y'all my testimony, okay? So my boyfriend and I met when we were in college, but we got into a committed relationship after we both graduated. After he graduated, he moved to Dallas for an amazing job offer, y'all. An amazing job offer that is like his dream job. But me on the other hand, I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. What? So I'm still in Virginia at this time, working job after job, changing my career about 10 different times, trying to figure out what the heck is my passion. So y'all, one day I was on the phone with him getting ready for work, but I was also just venting to him about how unhappy I was, y'all. Like I was just like, babe, I need to change the speed. I need to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. I have so much more to offer to this world. I want men to pay very close attention to what I'm about to say. If you're a simp out there and you think you can use your money to get and keep a woman, you are sadly mistaken. Simping ain't easy. Stay tuned. <laughs> what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video don't forget hit that like button on your way in tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time i upload content and you know what we're gonna do say it with me y'all we're gonna roll that clip then to be working at this nine to five so now i'm at work doing my everyday duties and my manager tells me to come to the back because my husband is on the phone I'm thinking in my head, Boogie, I don't have a husband. <laughs> you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. So I go to the back to answer the phone, and it's my man. So I pick up the phone, I'm like, Bae, what's wrong? Like, I'm at work. So he's just like, do you want today to be your last day at work? Child, the man didn't have to repeat himself. He didn't have to say a lot of because I was already with it, okay? The answer is yes. So he was like, so go ahead and clock out for me. <laughs> This man got me a one-way ticket to Dallas, got movers at my dad's apartment shipping my stuff over to Dallas. Baby, the man wasn't playing. He paid the fee for me to break my lease. Like, he just had everything taken care of. Simping ain't easy. I felt secure in making the move because, for one, I had a great savings account and I also have two degrees. So, if all else fails, baby, I can do better by myself. So I'm all settled in now and we just decided to have a sit down just to talk about our expectations of each other now that we live together. And he literally just told me, the only thing I expect from you is for you to find what your passion is in life. You don't gotta cook, you don't gotta contribute to anything financially, just figure out what you want out of life. So I told him like, bae, I think I wanna take content creation serious. I might've told him that on a Monday and I promise y'all that Friday, I had a vlogging camera, a new phone, ring lights, vanity sets. Baby, he was not playing. And the biggest thing of all, I complained about the lighting in our old apartment because we didn't have like a lot of natural light. The man moved us into a high rise. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. And see, this woman, number one, I believe this is cat because no man in their right mind is going to do this. Give her whatever she needs. Give her whatever she wants. And all she has to do is exist. So you mean to tell me you're going to pay and fund the lifestyle for a woman that does nothing? You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. I call cap. I call straight cap. This is not true as much and as many women that i've seen on tiktok teach about how to get a man with money how to get a man with money how to chat up a man with money where to go to get a man with money you're gonna teach women how to get a man with money but you don't even have a man with money Now, wait a minute, y'all, before you get in the comment section and say, it's just a skit. A lot of these delusional women think that they can get the world without doing anything. Yep. You take a woman like this, put her in a city 
and she will be as delusional as can be to say all types of things for clout and internet likes and views. I believe that this is a lie because a lot of people just get on the internet and say whatever they want to say to get likes and views. It's all about likes and views because the more people that click on her video, the more likes she gets, the more views she gets, and then she goes viral. Now we're going to look at part two because there's a part two of this. Why is seeing a black woman live a life full of luxury and leisure so triggering to black men? A few days ago, I posted a video speaking on my healthy relationship and some of the things that my boyfriend has done for me. And the video has over 8 million views at this point. And most of the negative comments have been black men. Stop the cow. <laughs> Stop the cow right now. Girl, they've been in my comments calling me lazy, a gold digger, I'm worth nothing, I bring nothing to this table. He crazy, I would never have no woman in my house doing nothing. No babe, you could never. You have to rely on your girlfriend's funds for the rent to get paid on the first. So respectfully, mind your tax bracket and sit this conversation out. If I made a video saying, I don't need no man, ain't no good men left, then I would have been bitter, angry, and too independent. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. So what do you want from us? I know what y'all want. Y'all want us to struggle like some of your mothers had to. Accept the bare minimum, but we should be so grateful that we even got that. Having to ride or die or build with you because you don't think we're worthy of having a man who got it right the first time. Telling us to be soft, but some of you think that you're the prize. I think the soft position has been taken. If we're receiving any type of good treatment from a man, it's like, what are you doing for him in return? Baby, just existing. Hey, you need to mind your business. You need to do this. You need to do that. That lets me know this is camp. That lets me know this is camp. Because if this was true, you would be able to bring receipts. Where are your receipts? Where are your... Where is your proof of purchase? See, a lot of women that this happens to, like, let's say this was real. Like, Worst case scenario, let's say this is real. Women would post videos. Like if she was really in love with this guy, let's say this was real. Where's the video of it? Where's the pictures of it? Where's the videos of you in the house? Where's the videos of you moving? Where's the video or the post of you saying, guys, it really happened. He told me to clock out. This is my last day of work. See, women, if this really happens to you, you will provide proof. You will provide proof. I've seen women provide proof on TikTok. When you date a guy and he turns out to be nothing that you wanted him to be, you will, you will prove everybody right. Yep. You will provide proof, text messages, pictures, whatever you got to prove to validate your story. With this lady, it is all kind. You get nothing. You lose. Anybody can get on the internet and say whatever they want to say, do whatever they want to do, but the modern woman lives in delusion. And see, let's turn the focus to the guys. Stop throwing your money at them. Stop throwing your time at them. Stop throwing anything at them. You know what you give them? Good old-fashioned game. Conversation ability. Now, I'm not saying don't spend money on a woman. What I'm saying is that you have to vet a woman properly. See, if this is true and this guy vetted this woman properly, more than likely he would have never got with her in the first place. Not only do guys need to start vetting women properly, but we need to understand that the modern woman is all we got. That's all that this is the dating market, guys. Modern women. That is it. Modern women. So before you get on your high horse, remember that modern women 
have ruined the dating market. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. I hope to see your face in the place because I'm going live. I'm going live tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m. I'm talking about birth of an incel. We're going to get into why men become incels. So sit back, relax, enjoy that show on Friday, and I will see you in the next video.